Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, Amazon decided to send me a mystery box. All right, let's open up, see what it is. And these are the brand new addition to Salomon collection. Yes, these are Salomons. Salomon X Reveal Gore-Tex GTX hiking shoes. Although these are, in my opinion, more of a trail running shoe. All right. If you guys don't have time to watch the whole review, let me tell you guys, overall, I do like these hiking shoes a lot. Unbelievably good outsole. I absolutely love, love this outsole. Gore-Tex for a shoe that costs a little bit more than $80. The link, the Amazon link is in the description below. If you want to check it out, I recommend you do because the prices do change. Now they do run, in my opinion, a little bit, just a tiny little bit on the smaller side. So get yourself half a size bigger. All right, if you are ready, let's start the whole review. As some of you already know this review specifically for my ultimate survival boots section. So basically, if these were the shoes that you were wearing, you were doing your trail running, you were hiking, something bad happened, or maybe you were sitting in the house and something bad happened, and this was the option to put on, leave the house, walk for miles and miles, maybe run, maybe fight, climb, do whatever that is necessary to survive. Would this be good shoes to survive in? All right, so how do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin. Criteria number one, of course, the comfort level. And in order to test the comfort level of all the shoes and boots that I get on this channel, whatever they are, even if it is not applicable for these shoes or boots, I do a three mile run without stopping and then a five mile walk without stopping um, right after the run. And then the total wear time is seven to eight hours. So I wear them afterwards. Now, uh, like I said, these are very comfortable in my opinion. I do like the comfort level of these shoes and there are a few factors that we can talk about whenever it comes to the comfort. First of all, of course, let's get this one out of the way. The weight and like I said, these are lightweight. Let's see how lightweight they are. This is size 10 and they are 12.1. And this is very impressive. And to give you reference numbers so you know what the numbers usually what kind of numbers you're looking for. If you want something to be able to run in, to walk for extended periods of time, I'm talking at least 10 miles and more, without getting fatigued from the weight on your feet, right? Your shoes being heavy, that is. You want something under 20 ounce on each side, right? Each shoe, under 20 ounce. This is 12. We're very, very impressive. That's way, way, almost half under 20 ounce. So this is really, really good. There are a few other factors that contribute to the comfort level. The flexibility of the bottom sole. As you can see, it is very flexible. So that's one of the reasons why I said, I think these are a pretty good option as a trail running shoes because you can run properly in them, which I was able to do without putting stress on your ankles, on your knees, because the bottom sole is so flexible. It allows you to run properly. Let's get to the next factor contributing to the comfort. The inner sole, of course, the inner sole here, as you can see, is the ortholite. Yes, now ortholite inner sole, the one that Solomon is using, typically does not have a lot of cushioning. It's fairly decent jelly feeling, not too much However, so it does not feel overly squishy, right? Uh, but to give you a little bit more about the ortholite, it's a special wickering technology, right? That protects you. So if your if your foot is sweating, um, it, it, it protects your foot uh, for bacteria, right? For bacteria spreading inside of your shoe, right? Uh, pretty good for hotter climate, right? Where it might be hot and you might be sweating. Pretty good option. Now, whenever you remove the inner sole, there is nothing else that gives you cushioning on the inside. Keep that in mind. If you do like more softer, this shoe might be a little bit hard for you. Now, uh, whenever it comes to the inside of the boot, obviously we have this very soft fabric. So inside of the boot feels very nice and soft. And even this more or less reinforced front still is very, very soft. So of course that does contribute to the comfort level. The tongue is 
has a decent amount of cushioning, so as whatever there is of the shaft. Overall, pretty good comfort level of the shoe. Just get them in the right size, don't get them you know, smaller, because I, I see a lot of times people complain um, in their reviews on Amazon, all over the internet, they say things that, you know, the, not comfortable, but one of the main reasons, one of the main reasons why the shoe might not be comfortable for you is because you get it in the wrong size. So play around. That's why I like Amazon, because you can buy, you can try, you can buy two sizes at the same time, and then whichever fits you best, you can send it back. Great. All right, so done with the comfort level overall, pretty good. Let's move on to the criteria number two, proofing and protection. Now, proofing wise, um, I already said, you see this fancy label right here, it says Gore-Tex GTX, um, fancy waterproofing technology, the special membrane that is implemented inside of the fabric. Now, it might be a little bit of a debatable topic, right? But personally, I don't see the point of having waterproof shoe because there is really no height to the shaft for waterproofing to be effective. Just a tiny little splash, the water gets inside and that's it, it's wet. So I don't see personally a lot of point in having it waterproof, especially having it waterproof as fancy as Gore-Tex. Uh, but, but again, this is just my personal opinion. There are out there people that prefer to have a waterproof trail running shoe or hiking shoe, even if it's a shoe and not a boot. Uh, so if you guys are one of them, you're gonna appreciate the Gore-Tex for a reasonable price overall. Now, whenever it comes to the, uh, and obviously, of course, because it's waterproof, you have gusseted tongue here, right? But whenever it comes to the protection, this shoe does not have much to offer whenever it comes to protection, except maybe from the outsole. It's the Salomon's Conta Grip. Uh, very hard rubber will give you sufficient amount of protection on the trail from, you know, sharp plants or maybe some small sharp rocks and stuff like that. Uh, but, but on the top, there isn't really much. This is very soft. So there is practically, there's really no toe protection at all everywhere in the shoe, except maybe for the heel because it is more or less reinforced. So not much of the protection. So if you're a type of per person that prefers lightness over, you know, you, 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 you're willing to have that lightness, but you're willing to sacrifice protection, you will be fine with the shoe. All right, let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design feature. Now, like I said, these shoes are fairly new from Amazon, so there are only about 80 reviews on Amazon. Uh, almost five stars, though, people do like them. And I mean, overall, Salomon, they are one of the best, the best hiking outdoors um, shoes and clothing manufacturers out there. They're, they're a trusted brand by a lot of a lot of experienced hikers. And I do like them a lot as well. In fact, in 2019, the best ultimate survival boot of 2019 was Salomon. Yes, yes. So Salomon is a trusted brand quality wise and never had any kind of problems with them except for some shoes running a little bit on the smaller side like these ones. Now, whenever it comes to the design features here, I talk about the lacing system. Um, as you can see, there is really not much to talk about here, it's literally just holes in the fabric, uh, flat strings. They do tighten fairly easily. It's easy to, you know, lace the shoes up. Um, I kind of wanted to see a little bit more from Salomon. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of this lacing system. Um, I think maybe quick lace system would have been a little bit better on, on the shoe. Uh, but, but again, it's, it's, it's a personal preference. Let's move on to the criteria number four, the very important one, the outsole traction and stability. Now, whenever I do my run, um, whenever I do my three mile run, five mile walk, I do that through a variety of different surfaces, starting on older asphalt, then I go to newer tarmac, dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, trail surface, rocky road, and then I finish up on uh, marble and tile, so flat, shiny surfaces. And this outsole right here is literally one of the best outsoles that I have seen from all of the boots, hundreds of boots that I have reviewed on this channel. This is the best outsole out there. It has perfect balance between aggression and flatness. These grooves are very, very aggressive. 
but at the same time the design is so basic that there isn't really nothing much for rocks or the sand to get stuck inside of the grooves. So they perform excellent on literally everything you throw at them. I am very, very happy with this outsole. Plus, this has uh, ridges on the side, which is, can be a great help whenever you're climbing something, climbing a tree, climbing a rope, this, this can be helped. So very versatile outsole. I do like it a lot. Now, uh, whenever it comes to the protection of the outsole, I already mentioned the, the, the rubber is very hard here, so it will give you sufficient amount of protection from sharper plants and rocks and stuff like that. Stuff that you can find on the trail. Great outsole. All right, let's move on to the criteria number five really quickly, temperature. Not much to talk about here. These shoes are not designed in any way for colder temperatures. Um, even though they're waterproof, obviously they, they're so thin, the, the fabric is so thin, is you're not, you're not gonna last in a, in a cold temperature. Um, for hot temperatures, however, which is what I have been testing these shoes in, uh, Florida, 95 degrees, uh, don't overheat at all. Very nice, very light, breathable whenever you're in the hot temperature. So it's absolutely perfect for a climate like this. Uh, let's move on to the criteria number six, the sizing. Now, I already briefly mentioned they do run a little bit on the smaller side. Overall, whenever it comes to hiking stuff, I recommend people get um, half a size bigger than the normal shoe size, right? So if your normal shoe size is nine, your hiking boots, hiking shoes, trail running shoes, get them in nine and a half. Um, this one, however, I might have recommended to, I might recommend going all the way one size bigger to have a little bit of that extra space because they're on the smaller size. Keep that in mind. But again, if you're buying from Amazon, you really don't need to worry about the fitment because you can always return and replace. The link is in the description below. All right, so let's move on to the criteria number seven now, the balance of application. So basically, if these were really your shoes, the last shoes, right? Your ultimate survival shoes. Something bad happened and you had to survive in the shoes. Would they be good? Now, if you're planning your survival through some trails, through some woods in warmer climate or maybe in fall or in the spring, obviously the summer, I think these are pretty good. If you prefer Mobility and lightness over protection. If you want to be fast, if you want to be able to run fast without being slowed down by the weight on your feet, if you want to be able to climb fast, do all of the things and maybe even walk for extended, extended periods of time without your feet getting tired from the weight on them, this is a great option. This is a really, really good option, especially if you, if you prefer Gore-Tex waterproofing for whatever reason in your uh, <laughs> hiking shoes. Uh, but, but if you are looking for more protection, you might want to find something that has a little bit more of uh, coverage for the toe, uh, a little bit more in the shaft to give you protection for the ankles. Um, and Solomon, luckily, they do have those options out there. Check them out. All right, the very last criterion, criterion number eight, the price. Now, the price, like I said, is Currently, a little bit over $80, $82.50 on Amazon. The link is in the description below. There are three different color variations that you can find in that link. Overall, I think the price is pretty good. Uh, considering that it is Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex is, like I said, it's a fancy waterproofing technology, so it's, it always adds up to the price, sufficient amount to the price. So 80 within 100 with Gore-Tex, is a pretty good option. Um, however, I think I think Salomon they they need to come up with their uh, regular. I think it's called Climasense waterproofing technology that they have of their own, which drops the price of the shoe or the boot significantly. So I just just as an option if you want to save money or non waterproof version completely because that's what I would go for. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think about this hiking shoe. Would you consider at is as your trail running shoe, your hiking shoe, or would you consider it as your ultimate survival shoe? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm kind of curious to hear your opinions on waterproofing whenever it comes to the trail running shoes and the hiking shoes. Do you think it's a necessity? Do you think it's smart to have a waterproof or do you think it's better to have something that is not waterproof, but something that dries 
really, really quickly. Drop the, your opinions in the comments below. Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video.